seul amour, mon Paris. Okay, David, you just brought out uh, your book in the States uh, last week, um, but you brought it out in England, uh, I guess, about a year ago. Yeah, it was brought out. I mean, I wrote it uh, over the last, well, it's only about two years from deciding to do it to actually finishing it. But it was released last year in the UK, the week before the tour, and now it's released, yeah, like you said, in the States, just, uh, yeah, the 26th, I think it was. But also in other, several other countries as well? Yeah, Holland, Belgium, Spain, Germany. Um, so it's, it's been well received. Um, yeah, I'm really happy. That's good. What, uh, how has it been received in different countries? Uh, it's quite strange actually. I mean, I, I, I kind of each country picks out what it likes about it. In, in the UK, it was very much uh, they, they, they've got a culture of sports and biographies, so fascinated by the kind of the sportsmen and the, the intricacies of the sportsman's life. And but in Spain, I noticed I was doing loads of interviews in, in uh, for the Spanish launch two weeks ago, and they were very much more interested in the human story, the kind of the the fall and rise. Um, I think they, especially in the crisis-ridden Spain, they liked that element of the kind of the human condition, the, the failure and picking yourself back up and rebuilding your life. And, uh, and then in Belgium, they just like the Vandenbroek anecdotes. So, <laughs> so it's a, yeah, each place has its own little thing. That's very good. And now you've got a new S5. How did that go? How's that going for you? Yeah, I'm loving it. Uh, it's beautiful. I mean, I can throw it around like an R bike. It's, it's basically got all the attributes of the R, but with the aerodynamics. So I'm, I'm over the moon with it. Perfect.